oh shit, 911, your cousin, your friend, tell them to call you. Come up with the craziest excuse to leave. Don't use death. Oh my God, my cousin just, I mean my uh, my boyfriend just whooped my ass. My baby daddy just put me in a hospital. Something. You got to come get me, cuz. You got to come get me. Oh shit, cuz. Loud. Oh shit, cuz. I'm on the way. You have women who, as soon as you get down there, you smell it. You take, they take off their drawers. You smell it. Or that lingering. That lingering smell. So this was a lingering smell like la 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 Oh, what the hell is that? I don't even know why. Like she nasty too. Like why would you still let me do that? Why would I even want to do that? Just smell it like straight kafilka in that bitch. You stink. Smell this motherfucker. Oh! Oh! oh. Okay. Give this video oh, a okay. Turn on post notification million. so you can see her daily update. Okay. Yay. What's up, y'all? It's Garrett Need You the whole year. I'm that. I'm doing a um. Uh, I'm doing a mukbang, you know, cause I'm hungry as hell. And I want to eat, yeah. And I want to eat good too. So last night I told y'all I'm at Freshie's house. Oh, what my ranch and shit. Last night. Freshie comes in here with some wings. By the way, bitch, you didn't offer me one. But anyway, he came in here with some wings and I was starving last night. But I did not feel like going to get no wings. So, today, I'm eating wings. Say a prayer with me. Hey man, so, she had honey barbecue. Let me see what this hitting for. Mm. I wanted to talk to y'all. Just pretty much talk. I see Zo do mukbangs like this all the time. We he just talk. Show you what's going on. Hi, Phil. I be feel like y'all ain't gonna watch the videos, huh? I don't post it, but mm. we talking about getting fear out of my body. And the only way to get fear out of your body is to do it while you scared, nigga. <laughs> so I've been single for how long? Like two months now, maybe more. And I've seen all different flavors of women. I have talked to all different flavors of women. What is my type? Nigga, I don't even think I know. Like, you just have some girls that just got that look. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the hugest makeup person, right? <clears throat> I love me a natural woman. But it's something about them eyelashes. That do something to you. Alright. And. I'm not talking about them Batmobile eyelashes. I'm talking about. You know just the right size. Especially the full one. To make your eyes look different. Uh -huh. Like I have long eyelashes. Very long eyelashes. I don't know. Maybe girls feel the same way about me. I don't fucking know. <laughs> but um. I don't care for that makeup of them eyelashes. Mm. I don't really care about a body type. Cause like I ain't the smallest. You know what I'm saying? So I can't discriminate against a woman with a little meat. And clearly I've dated a woman that was a hundred pounds. Up to smashing a woman that was 500. <laughs> I just love women, bruh. But. I 
I like long hair. Ooh, there's some short hair girls out here that can get it though. Hmm. Maybe I just don't have a type, bro. I like what I like, you know what I'm saying? Or who I like rather. That's it. I like I like who I like. I think women just put so much on themselves because I always trying to look like the next girl now. I wanna wear what the next girl wearing. Um, something that I admire by myself. I've never been into that. You know, like, I like to look how I look. Mm -hmm. I am um, a different breed. I'm a sex ass penguin. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes. <laughs> However, I just feel like. And I, for me to be the size I am, I put the down here. Ain't none of that stopping that. <laughs> That's some fine ass women out here. Like when I was in a relationship, there was like so many girls in my DMs. And I really wasn't looking at none of them. Some of them I might be like, you pretty too, shit. But I wasn't really looking at them. I have a terrible conscience, so cheating for me is just like physically cheap. I've entertained some conversations, I ain't gonna lie. But I just feel like who don't? Like, I just wanna be young, wild, and free. You know what I'm saying? For real. There's some girls now. I'll throw it all the way for. <laughs> I think we all got our crushes. It's a YouTuber I've had a crush on for a long time. But I ain't telling. Cause clearly. I was in a relationship. And I couldn't tell it. And today, I still don't think I will. <clears throat> She's so fine, Lord. Some fine women out here. Period. Sucker right now. But, um, my YouTube crowd. Mm hmm. <laughs> no, I'm not telling you who she is. I ain't even telling her. Y'all will probably be able to put two and two together though. <laughs> Eventually. She might not even like a nigga. Mm. Fuck around. <laughs> and build up this momentum. <laughs> to tell a girl you like her. Like, I right. just make everything weird. Like, all right, I've been liking this girl for a minute. And I didn't want to tell her, but you know what? Today is the day. I got to let her know. You know what I'm saying? Start telling your friends you like her and shit. They start instigating. Say the shit on live. They get to instigating. <clears throat> then uh, royal assassins get to tell them that shit. Hey. Then the next thing you know, she like, I don't, I don't even like you like that. Like, God damn, you didn't give me a chance. You didn't give me a chance. <laughs> she really in love her damn child. I don't know what's going on with them, but I don't think she wanna let her go. I feel it. But I ain't looking for nothing serious. Uh oh, I'm on some less cooler but not go steady shit. You know what I'm saying? Whatever happened to them days, bro? When I was like, when I was like 19. Matter of fact, oh, what's her name? Did a video about this the other day. Bad cooler cat. I think I'm gonna do that in this video. But um, when I was 19, you used to have a girl you could talk to. You know what I'm saying? Pull up on her. Go to the crib, beat them cheeks, spend a night, leave. Y'all do that shit for six months. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Be like, unofficially official as hell. You know what I'm saying? I got two YouTube crushes. Y'all know I'm secretive as hell. Um, I'm not telling you, so stop asking me. You, in the comments right now, don't ask me. Okay? <laughs> um... But yeah, 
You just can't do that shit no more. All right. Talk to a girl for a couple months, date. Eventually beat them cheeks. And continuously, eventually beating them cheeks. <laughs> and continuing your everyday life. She may fuck around and start going with another girl. Like, I know we've been cooling it for the last couple months and shit. Uh, I don't want to be with you no more. I want to be with her. But, um, yeah, man. Okay, y'all. About the time. I have some stank cooter cap. This is inspired by Jolie Cape. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to her and support her fine ass, please. So, we was talking the other day online. I think she was talking about how she got some bad cooter cap, but anyway, she ended up doing a story time on it. So, let me just give y'all a quick story time. I ain't gonna lie, it's been a couple times, bro. It's been a couple times, bro. I done ran into some thing cooter cat. But I was young. I was real young. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna tell you a time when I was about 19 was my prime year of getting cheeks. Uh, so I, I went to the club the night before. But I used to go to the club every Saturday. Shout out to the mix. Yerd. And um, this girl was just so ugly sexy to me. She was so ugly sexy. What well, ugly sex ass. And I wanted her so bad, she could dance and shit. She used to be real, you know, mm, with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn. So, one day, I said, what's up? I'm trying, I'm trying to see if you could really dance. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could really dance like that. For real. And, um, I ended up getting on them. And I seen her one day. She put up to the crib. And I don't know. I was kind of rude to her one time. <laughs> she said, I don't think she was feeling me either at the time, huh? You look different from the club to like real life. She was ugly as hell, too. <laughs> but I'll never forget. She was like, I mean, you ain't give me out. What she say? When you gave me a hug, you ain't even have on no cologne, is what she told me. Ever since then, I wore cologne, by the way. I learned my lessons early. Young studies. You heard? Make sure you wear cologne, not body spray. Women don't like body spray. Unless you got some body spray that smells like some Issy Miyake, you know what I'm saying? Or some, uh, some Sauvage or something. Let me know where it's at. You know what I'm saying? But if not, make sure you wear Savage. All right, it's a couple things. I, I'll make another video about it. Savage number one. Um, gotta smell sexy. Creed, any of that. Uh, so I seen her another time, like I want another chance or something with her ugly ass. I don't know. I, I, I felt offended by the fact, I'm not offended. I was like, damn, she said I have no cologne. I felt like I wasn't prepared. Like, nigga. How you gonna go up to a girl and shit and I smell like cologne and like, I make sure I smell good at all times now, you know, so. I mean, from body wash to the lotion, to the, uh, to the cologne. You gonna smell me. So, uh, thank you. Thank you, uh, the ugly girl. But anyway, so boom. She went to Winthrop. So, me and my cousin, he was like my wingman of these women. You know, so I'm like, bro, I got something to rock here. You got something to rock here? He was like, shit, I can come up with something. So he ended up coming up with something. We went in on the gas, whatever. Uh, went through about 30, 40 minutes away from me. So boom. We go to the school and shit. She in the shower. Specifically said she was in the shower. I'm like, all right. You know, hand that thing about to be smelling minty fresh. This shit, I'm about to beat them cheeks. You know what I'm saying? Bro. She get out the shower. I'm an impatient nigga. That's a lie. I'm impatient with certain women. 
certain women, I just want to get to it. I ain't got no patience. I want to do it. I've been thinking about you. It's been a couple months. I want it. I want you. Come on. Let's do it. So when she came in the room, I'm ready. I'm like, what's up? Let's get it. Plus, we really on a time schedule because my cousin got to come back because he with some other chick. He driving my car though. So boom. We start kissing and shit. I liked it. So I get the finger. I try not to be gruff. I get the uh, you know what I'm saying, shooting my shot down there. You know what I'm saying? How you got to shoot it. How you wanna shoot it, how you get the shooting it and shit. So you know you gotta you gotta test yourself. That's the whole point of the of the shot. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you know, mm, mm, baby, mm, yeah, yeah. Let me go ahead and test this out real quick. You know what I'm saying, uh. Y'all, I was pissed. I'm like, oh, come on. Oh! And I talk, this is the first time I ever was like, like, you stink. Like, your shit stink. She was like, it stink. Smell this motherfucker. So being young and stupid and 19, ugh, I decided I'm still just gonna finger her with my nasty ass. Still finger her, bruh. And I don't even know why, like, she nasty too. Like, why would you still let me do that? Why would I even want to do that? Just smell it like straight kafilka in that bitch. Like, I ain't lying, y'all. I was like, ugh. But in the process of that, I don't, I don't, first of all, it didn't last that long. It was like, like maybe five minutes. And I, my cousin called. And uh, he was like, like, cuz you done? I don't know what you doing. Cuz, you know what I'm saying? She ready to go, whatever, whatever. Or he was just about to get started. I don't really remember. Either way, I got on the phone with that nigga and I was telling him to come on because she stank. And somehow, she was going away and I could tell him that. And y'all, I left. I ain't even tell her bye. I just left. Her skirt on her ass. I think she went back to the bathroom or something. She probably smelled her damn self. I don't, like, I know I'm confusing and I ain't trying to confuse y'all. But just know, that thing stank. I continued to do it. She continued to let me did it, do it. She went back to the bathroom. I ran out the building. <laughs> that's what happened. That's what happened. Mm -mm. I had another little thing. Ooh, I don't have some time. I had another little thing. She was so fine. Oh my God. She used to work at Walmart with me. I used to work at Walmart. And at Walmart, I had at least eight girls that was on a nigga me that I was talking to. But I wasn't having sex with him, you know what I'm saying? Just a little work shit, a little flirt shit, you know what I'm saying? But there's one, she got my ass. She lived up the street. So, she wanted me to pull up, whatever. Pulled up on the bus, you know, on the bus. Stop right in front of her house. I get that house. I think she took a shower. I ain't mistaken. She could dance. She um she put her her feet around her her neck like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh my god. Same thing with her, y'all. But this time, I went down on her first and knowing my my smell test first because I wanted her. I thought she was so fine. I'm like, mm, mm, mm. I know I was rushing, just trash ass sex at 19. Anyway, <laughs> mm, 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 mm. and then I went down there, and that thing stank. And this wasn't kafilka fish stank. This was like mildew stank. Like that thing stank. And you know, I, I did not like. It wasn't a stink like as soon as you get down there you smell it. So you have women who 
soon as you get down there, you smell it. You take they take off their drawers, you smell it, or that lingering, that lingering smell. So this was a lingering smell, like la 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 la. Oh, what the hell is that? So now I'm scared, like oh no, where did this come from? Started fingering her too. It got worse. Smell got worse as I was, you know what I'm saying, shooting my shot. Y'all, let me tell you something about staying cool to cat. You don't want it. Young studs. If that thing stank, run, nigga. Lie. Call yourself. Say, oh shit, hold on. Go to the bathroom. Oh shit, hold on. She gonna be like, what? Go to the bathroom. Come up with an emergency. Tell your cousin to call you 911. You should always have a cousin to call you 911. And if you don't have no cousins, you gotta have a friend. <clears throat> and if you don't have a friend or cousins, something is wrong with you. Um. Oh shit. 911, your cousin, your friend, tell them to call you. Come up with the craziest excuse to leave. Don't use death. Oh my God, my cousin just, I mean, my uh, my boyfriend just whooped my ass. My baby daddy just put me in a hospital. Something. You gotta come get me, cuz. You gotta come get me. Oh shit, cuz. Loud. Oh shit, cuz. I'm on the way. Thank you. Type shit. Man, my cousin just got beat up. Cock your gun there. You better have one there, cuz you, you can't trust these women. Cock your gun. Like, I gotta go. I gotta go take care of my cuz, cuz. I gotta go make sure my cuz straight. I'll be back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't even. I'm sorry. Get up out of there. Go wash yourself. Go get checked. <laughs> go get checked. I got checked. Go get checked. You straight. Don't call her ass no more. I'm trying to tell you. Don't call her no more. But that's just it. <laughs> so yeah, y'all. I got so many stories. You have no idea. But um, I'm not telling you my YouTube crush. Is. Um, you can guess though. Don't lick no stank cool cat. Run, okay? I'm full. I love y'all, man. I hope this is a good video for y'all. Let me know what topics y'all want me to do. We on to the next video. Peace out.